Hey guys, this is Texio Sticky's Glue, and today I'm going to show you how you can get Froyo on your HDC Hero. There are a couple of requirements before you start, and the first one is that it's a GSM Hero, so it has the chin, not the CDMA version, or it will brick it. And the other requirement is to be rooted. So if you're both of those, you can go ahead with this, and you should get Froyo running pretty quickly. I'm going to do this in sort of a step by step sort of thing with numbers just to make it that bit easier if you've got a query with a particular step and I'll also put um, put it in words in the bottom bar if that helps you guys as well so the first step is to go to the link in the bottom bar and either on your phone browser or on your computer download the file and then step two you need to put that onto your SD card which you can do by mounting the phone to your computer and putting down the bottom bar and selecting the option there or of course if you download it straight to the phone that's fine and that needs to be on the root of your SD card which means that it's not in a file it's just purely on the SD card step three is to power the phone off step four is to then power on holding the power and home buttons which will put you into the recovery Step 5 is to then do an Android backup, so you go to Backup Restore NAND plus EXT Backup and do a backup. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it and I have quite a few backups but you need to do that just in case something goes wrong. Step 6 is to wipe and you need to wipe the data slash factory reset, the Dalvik cache and the EXT partition which I'm just going to do now, which you confirm by hitting home and it should be pretty quick so once you've done that you need to hit back to go back to the main menu and step 7 is flashing the zip from the SD card so just find the one that's called Fro Freud and whichever version you've got will be after that hit home to confirm and then that should install. I'm going to cut the video to that having installed because it does take a while. Alright guys, that's almost finished for me. Okay, and then step 8, I think we're on, is to simply reboot just now. And allow it to boot up. Now this can take quite a while on a first beautiful ROM. This one for me has been a bit quicker than most and it does have quite a cool boot screen but I'll probably cut it just to shorten the whole boot up sequence but you just need to let it run through alright so you can see Villian's custom boot screen which is quite good which as the boot screens go is probably one of the more creative ones and this means we should be pretty close to booting into the ROM so now you've booted and you'll be at the setup screen which you guys should be able to navigate on your own, it's the same as when you first got the phone but with the odd 2.2 difference and you're now running Froyo <coughs> or Android 2.2 on your Hero so hopefully this you'll like this guys, it's quite an early stage it's a little little bit unstable I'm sort of once every three hours you can expect to crash or a force close but it does seem to be pretty good and hopefully this will see some really really good updates in the near future so I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, just comment or PM me. Obviously subscribe if you like this, and if you want to see any more Hero or soon-to-be Samsung Galaxy S related videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.